Hi everyone, welcome to our new EnergyCast studio in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. We are thrilled to show you around throughout this show and bring you environmental management news in a sleeker way. So this is going to be a little bit different in terms of a format than what you're used to. Instead of 30 minutes, we're giving you what you need to know in just 10. We're still going to have longer form stories for you over on our YouTube channel, so do be sure you're following us on there. Go ahead and subscribe, but we know you're busy, so let's get to it. We are talking money this month. It takes hundreds of millions of dollars every year to get the vital work done across the Oak Ridge Reservation. We've got an expert with us today to break down the federal budget just approved. Plus, Safety Fest is back after a several year pause because of the pandemic. Our team takes us to the event to show us what's new. And really cool video alert. There's just no better way to say that. Up a ventilation stack at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Workers are hundreds of feet in the air. You have got to see the rest of this. This month, the big story is that Congress has passed the 2024 budget and it includes the largest sum yet for environmental management projects in Oak Ridge. This year, OREM has about $695 million to work with. And by the way, that's almost 60 million more than last year. So to help us understand where exactly that money is going to go, we've got Alan Stokes here. He is the director of the Planning and Execution Division. You've been with the Department of Energy for more than two decades. Yep. So you know a thing or two about this. We've got uh, last year's budget here versus this year. Tell us a little bit about the differences here and, and were there any surprises? Okay. So this chart showing us what was enacted by Congress in 23 and 24. And as you said, 695 million is what Congress gave us in 2024. That's a high watermark for Oak Ridge's budget. The last three years we've been in the 640 range. So that's a significant increase for us. And you can see the biggest changes were in the Y12 ORNL cleanup line and point out that these rows represent congressional control accounts, is okay. what Congress calls it. Think of them as bank accounts. So I can only use money that Congress deposits in my bank account for Y12 ORNL cleanup for Y12 ONL cleanup. And so we what have are to some manage of the projects these. in there that, that got us that bump. So we have op EM operations at Y12 and ORNL operates the circle of landfill, sanitary landfills, and the liquid gaseous process system at ORNL. Okay. The biggest part of this though is the cleanup where we're knocking down buildings. And you can see we got a significant increase in 24 that will help us um, continue to make the progress and accelerate work in cleaning up Y12 and ORNL. All right. The next big increase was MTF construction. This is our line item where we're building the mercury treatment facility system at Outfall 200. That's going to allow us to capture mercury once we start cleaning up the big buildings in Beta 4 and Alpha 5. And we've got a lot of work ahead. Yes, we do. All right, well, thank you so much for helping us understand that, Alan. It was so helpful, appreciate it. Let's go ahead and take a hot minute to tell you about EM's strategic vision for the next decade. This is an overview that shares the biggest projects on the horizon at the remaining 15 sites across the country. So some of those top goals at the national level include talking with the people who make up the communities where EM work is happening to get feedback from the most impacted, including tribal leaders, preparing the workforce of tomorrow through internships and programs like the Minority Serving Institutions Partnership, and improving waste disposition, finding ways to reuse radioactive materials. In Oak Ridge specifically, you can expect to see work on groundwater treatment projects, continued deactivation and demolition, getting the mercury treatment facility up and running, completing uranium-233 processing, and constructing the environmental management disposal facility. That full 52-page document is posted for you over on EM's website, energy.gov EM.
welcome to our interview set. Isn't it cozy? We are dreaming of bringing you in-depth cleanup conversations with lawmakers, industry professionals, and community leaders right here. And speaking of dreams, this moment has been a big one, and I cannot believe it's here. So with me now is Ben Williams, DOE Public Affairs Specialist, and the reason this show and set exist at all. Ben, when I first met you during my interview two years ago, you said this was the goal, and here we are. How's it and feel? here we are. <laughs> Oh, it's Christmas Day. I know. Where's the tree? We, the wrong we even have a tree. tree. We just need some lights for it. Yeah. So why did you feel like doing a show like this was absolutely vital to the next communications effort for uh, OREM? For sure. Um, well, really, there was a lot of news happening in Oak Ridge, and it just wasn't being captured. And so we really wanted to make sure we had a mechanism where we could, you know, really capture the full extent of what was happening here. And, you know, we picked this format more so because... Um, there's a big difference in print and video, you know, whether you read a story or watch it and this kind of personalizes the story and makes it a little more impactful. How's it feel sitting here right now? It feels so good. And, um, you know, it was a long time coming and a lot of work behind the scenes to make this a reality, but it really opens the door for us to tell stories in a new way. And there's so much work happening out here. You know, I used to be a news anchor here locally. And even in that job, I didn't feel like I knew even the half of what was happening out here. So to be able to be here and tell these stories, that was really your goal. Is Absolutely. that for community lawmakers? We talk about that, but what was your vision for that? Who did you want seeing this? For sure. Um, really all the above. I mean, you listed a lot of different people. Such good work is happening here. Um, whether you're just a proud community member to know your tax dollars are being spent well, or Congress to know you know, the efficiency we're operating at. You know, there, there's so many different people we want to let know our messages. Awesome. Well, thank you. And thank you for my job. I really appreciate <laughs> it. I really love it. So thank you so much. And we look forward to showing you even more of our new studio in just a few minutes. And you know what, Ben? This is so cool. We actually talked with a new employee who was drawn to the job because of Energy Cast. Raul Guin was in Virginia, but trying to make his way to East Tennessee to be closer to his grandbaby when he came across a story we aired. It was about beloved former OREM leader Steve McCracken. Just hearing his story and, you know, things that he did throughout his career here uh, helped me really realize that. While I was working with DOD, another great agency, I figured Department of Energy is also a great, you know, agency to work for. Yeah, Olgin applied shortly after, has now been with us for five months. So I asked him if being here has lived up to the stories he watched on Energy Cast. It was an undeniable absolutely. You know what, we've got more from our talk with Raul over on our YouTube page. He tells us what stood out to him about the team here and wants others to realize there are so many different job opportunities across the Oak Ridge Reservation. Even if you don't think your skill set would be needed, you might be surprised. We've got more from our conversation over on the U.S. DOE Oak Ridge YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe. We've got a hot minute to tell you about the return of Safety Fest. This marks the first time Oak Ridge has hosted the event since 2019. Planning around the pandemic halted sessions in recent years. Four-day event offered more than 120 free classes and demonstrations on a whole wide range of safety topics. Goal of Safety Fest Tennessee is to make training accessible and help the region be the safest place to live and work. Yeah, a, a lot of what happens here is about demonstrations, some seminars, some discussions on safety, everything to do with safety. And so these are free events. Uh, and if you're an organization that maybe struggles with getting people to these events or in these types of seminars, uh, here's an opportunity to do it for free. This year's event had more than 750 registrants for more than 130 organizations. Really cool video to it coming to us from the Oak Ridge National Laboratory. You are looking at the site's tallest ventilation stack. All right, so you see the little speck on there? That is a worker climbing the side of this stack. It was built in 1949 and it is still in use today. Inspections happen regularly and repair work like this is required to make sure it's safe. The top five feet of that stack had to be removed, bringing its current height down to, you know, a nice low 245 feet. This is East Tennessee and we know people move here for the mountains, but it takes a brave worker 
to commit to that sort of climb. Well done. The new Oak Ridge City Manager is taking our rapid fire questions in this round of this or that. We've got a full interview with Randy Heeman over on our YouTube channel, but here's what we found out in 30 seconds. Bike or walk? Uh, bike. Budget meeting or city council meeting? Oh, city council meeting. Lake or quarry? Uh, lake. Beach or mountains? Mountains. Virtual or in-person meeting? In-person. City or supper? City. Boiled peanuts or baked beans? Oh, baked beans. I never got the boiled peanut thing. I looked at, you know, I had to ask a, a Carolina's related question in here to compare. I didn't love boiled peanuts either. Uh, hotel or rental? Uh, probably rental. Okay. Fly or drive? Uh, drive. Hug or handshake? Hug. Well, you know what? K-25 is becoming a very meaningful site. Nearly 700 retired employees gathered there for a first ever reunion. Employees who supported operations from the Manhattan Project through the 1980s all showed up. One former employee was more than 100 years old. Turnout was so impressive, they have already set the date for next year's. It'll mark the site's 80th anniversary, by the way. We've got more from this story, including interviews on our YouTube channel. And remember, if you work in environmental management in Oak Ridge, keep us in mind if you come across a story. We are always looking for news tips and story ideas from all across the reservation. We would love to feature what matters to you right here. Email your idea to oakridgeem at orem.doe.gov. And don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts. We post this show on our YouTube channel. Plus, if you liked a topic we covered here, we often have more on it over there. You can also follow EM News on our Facebook, Instagram, and X accounts. Thank you so much for joining us. New episodes come out the last Wednesday of the month. You can watch on air or online, same places as always. We will see you next month from the EnergyCast studio in Oak Ridge.